Hello students, welcome in chapter 9. Differential our solutions for exercise 9.4. Students in the differential equations, we are going ahead today. Question number 6. Solve the given differential equations dy by dx 1 plus x square 1 plus y square. Students as well as last day I told anyhow y term related to dy arrange and x term arrange with dx then you can easily get the integrations. Students here this y value I attach with dy. So, can I return dy by 1 plus y square and this and that I combine and both side taking now integrations. So, students integration of dy this side with dx and here mention v taking integration on the both side. Now formula known that is tan inverse y here x and that is x cube by 3 plus c that is your students general solutions. Mention that where c is arbitrary constant yes it is always changeable now continue our question number 7 here students now students i continue our 7 sum also solutions that y into log y dx minus x into dy is equal to 0 students this is a imp questions board question to tick mark in imp list so y into log y is equal to x into dy so does this dy and this y terms you collect combine and dx with x collect combine so can we write down dx upon x here dy upon y log y now you take the integration on both sides. So, integration dx by x. Here we just write down 1 upon y upside upon log y and declare that we taking integration on the both side. So, in this differential equation chapter students very easy but you know the formula for derivative and integrations. Now that function of a derivative, function of a derivative it is log of function. Here also log of function and plus c write down but we write here log c because I want to log 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 we remove that. So, students log x modulus here log of modulus log y into c base e base e both side log remove you have to only x log y base e into c this answer should us correct but sometime also further explanation is given so i just write down x upon c is equal to log y base e so can i write down e raised to x by c is equal to y exponential terms remove the log that also further explanation students available y is equal to e raised to x into 1 by c and that 1 by c is considered again new arbitrary constant so y is equal to e raised to x into i write down a where declare 1 upon c is equal to a our new arbitrary constant yes you can write down arbitrary constant to any huh? c a k b anyone so does this answer 100 percent true this also true but in textbook given that type so i show here this will now continue students our questions eighth one
Age also similarly students. Same pattern questions. Evaluate the solutions for differential equation x raised to 5 dy by dx minus y raised to 5. Again same repeat dy with you taking y value and dx with taking x variable. So here students dy upon y raised to 5 same dx upon x raised to 5 here minus as it is. So you can going y raised to minus 5 dy x raised to minus 5 dx and both side also I take the integrations. So students here data is over plus 1 by plus 1 same as here plus 1 by plus 1 plus c. Students here same as according to the previous I constant convert in one only. So here y raised to minus 4 by minus 4 x raised to minus 4 by minus 4 plus c. Can I take LCM minus 4? Yes, y raised to minus 4, x raised to minus 4, here minus 4c, I consider this is a new constant. So y raised to minus 4, x raised to minus 4 plus capital C. And that is your new arbitrary constant. And just to rearrange the data, your data is x raised to minus 4. y raised to minus 4 is equal to c. This is your general solutions where C is arbitrary constant. Yes, students, here easily way your eight questions done. Now I going ahead one more ninth sum. Actually, all numericals are related to your integrations formula. And that way asking your solutions related to our differential equation solutions. Now one more question 9 dy by dx sin inverse x. Same as here students I just rearrange x with dx y with dy. So 1 into dy here sin inverse x into dx. So, integration 1 dy is equal to sin inverse x dx. Can I write here into 1? Yes, because it is inverse. That's the algebraic and LIAT solutions. So, here integration students y. First, second integrations. Minus in the big integrations dx as it is. Li device, I just arrangement. First of all, L I for inverse. After that, algebraic. Now d dx of first and second integrations. So you get the answer here only x. Now that derivative under root 1 minus x square x dx plus c1. Now students here function side by side derivative yes minus 2x either you can assume best way under root 1 minus x square is t so 1 minus x square is a t square and now take the derivative differentiation with respect to x 0 minus 2x dx 2t dt so what is the x dx minus either only x dx write down minus t dt that I submitted to in place of here x dx. So my further solutions sin inverse x into x x dx is a minus t dt by t that also cancel only for 1 and 1 integration we know that so y is equal to sin inverse x into x plus t c1 plus c2 it is your new arbitrary constant c write down and t already you know so y is equal to sin inverse x into x under root 1 minus x square plus c here students you have this solutions ninth one 
is done and that is your solution for this type of differential equation means one order and one degree wise we going students now continue our question number 10 last you mention itself where c is a arbitrary constant now continue question number 10 e raised to x 10y dx 1 minus e raised to x x square y dy is equal to 0 here also same i students explain you anyhow y value related to dy joint and x value related dx joint so we have to only one of the this full part and that i convert to right side e raised to x 10y dx minus 1 minus e raised to x x square y dy so e raised to x dx this minus take inside upon e raised to x minus 1 and this side is x square y dy upon 10y again e raised to x dx with this and 10y and x square y dy one side and take both side integrations so integration of both side taking this also same by 10y now check function upper derivative function upper derivative so we can write down here d dx of e raised to x minus 1 same is here d dx of 10y and here same is confirmly function of a derivative it means what log of functions so students your answer is here log of functions here also same log of function and plus i write down log c because i want to now remove the log so here log of e raised to x minus 1 that is 10 y into c and both side with the base e log functions are removed only you have to e raised to x minus 1 is equal to 10 y into c and that is your students general solutions where c is arbitrary constant and this is students question number 10 up to your general solutions done now i going ahead 11th to particular solution asking it means value of c define that's your particular but in particular necessary students up to c you calculate first now i going to big big numericals question number 11th find general and particular both to in the question number 11 to all 14 here x cube plus x square x plus 1 dy by dx is equal to 2x square plus x if x 0 then y 1 that's your particular solution related 2x square plus x x cube x square x plus 1 students so first of all i calculate up to general solutions then after i utilize x0 and y1 so first i going divide by dx which is 2x square plus x by x cube x square x plus 1 can i check common here yes definitely you have to common taking 2x square plus x x square common x plus 1 plus 1 common again x plus 1 so our data is 2x square plus x that is x plus 1 and here x square plus 1 this your dy by dx but i want to integration parts so take both side integrations definitely you have to 1 dy here 1 of the 2x square plus x 
with x plus 1 x square plus 1 dx so as here you wait and check that type of solutions it is your partial fraction method yes very big solution sir so I going here by method of partial fractions so 2x square plus x by x square plus 1 they have to a below one constant another bx plus c with the constant related x square plus 1 actually one functions have one constant but there are two poverty related functions then you take joining bx plus c and take out the lcm outside you have to 2x square plus x here a with the x square plus 1 and bx plus c with the x plus 1 and try to now expand some so 2x square plus x a x square a that is bx square plus bx plus cx plus c and now i rearrange to all terms according to your poverty and their constants to variable parts and you can define here three different types of equations so students we write down here now again 2x square plus x plus 0 this side ax square bx square means a plus b now only x bx plus cx I mean b plus cx and constant a plus c only yes here students you can check your coefficients value one of the coefficients a plus b here two statement one b plus c one statement two and a plus c zero statement three now anyhow you can calculate a b and c value i calculate the uh, first and second either second and third this best these are calculate are combined minus 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 this cancel you have to only b minus a is equal to one statement number four and now one and four calculate solve one and four so a plus b is equal to two and b minus a is equal to one so does this cancel that is 2b 3 b become 3 by 2 and if you be clear then a and c also clear that i know either this a plus b 2 a become 2 minus b so 2 minus 3 by 2 it is 4 minus 3 1 by 2 4 minus 3 and now i going ahead to here third one also a plus c 0 c become minus a it is minus half that shall c ready now this integrations in the variation of a b c i again start therefore integration of 1 dy integration of a b x plus c and that is your students x plus 1 here x square plus 1 dx and easily you can operate your a b c value so what's your here integrations y this side either i last write down don't worry dy same is here a is a half x plus 1 b is a 3 by 2 x c is minus half i take combined integrations huh? so here 1 dy is as it is written so you can get now integrations part So this side integration 1 dy same half make outside again 3 by 2 make outside x below x square plus 1 and minus half outside x square plus 1. 
students here i extra write down to multiply and to divide it because this derivative is 2x plus 0 function upper derivative and other is same as so your y half log x plus 1 here 3 by 4 log x square plus 1 and here minus half tan inverse x plus c so these are the joining further available if you take lcm 4 so y is equal to your 1 fourth common 2 log x plus 1 plus 3 log x square plus 1 and minus half tan inverse x plus c now students this two make outside power here outside power and plus converting into product so y is confirmed over here log of x plus 1 the square into into oh, sorry x square plus 1 raised to cube and minus half tan inverse x plus c here students here first step is done this is your general solutions and where c is a arbitrary constant now i start our particular solutions what given x0 then y1 if x0 then y1 according to questions so putting down here 1 1 fourth log here 0 plus 1 square 0 square plus 1 the cube minus half tan inverse 0 plus c and very easily students you can turn here 1 it is 1 fourth here log 1 0 and log 1 is obviously 0 this 0 that is also the 0 plus c it means students your c value is exactly 1 here and that value c1 students i put it there and you get the answer so students after find out c we can write down last answer therefore particular solution just you put it here c value so y is equal to 1 fourth into log x plus 1 square x square plus 1 cube minus half tan inverse x and c is what yes 1 and here students you done easily that's types of questions now i going ahead question number 12 yes 12 is also same pattern in the big solutions up to particular solutions we derive x into x square minus 1 dy by dx is equal to 1 and particular solution if x2 then y is 0 x2 then y is 0 very easy students here i anyhow i separate x with dx value y with dy so i write down 1 dy dx by x with x square minus 1 so taking integration on both side here three factors plus 1 and minus 1 and now go to method of partial fractions that one by method of partial fractions students here 1 upon 3 factors there x x plus 1 x minus 1 they get a b c x x plus 1 and x minus 1 and till up to you calculate value of a b and c so here i'll see i'm taking a with the x plus 1 x minus 1 b here same x with x minus 1 and c here same x with x plus 1 this equation students are utilizations in the factor of find out a b and c one by one we will take zero so first case if x zero 
सो वन इज इक्वल टू ए जीरो प्लस वन जीरो माइनस वन ये जीरो जीरो डेफिनेटली यू हैव टू ए माइनस वन फर्स्ट सम इजीली स्टेप्स दल नाउ आई गोइंग टू रिलेटेड बी फाइंड आउट एंड देन आफ्टर स्टूडेंट्स वी कन्वर्ट टू सी so second equation derived from this one x plus 1 is equal to 0 if x plus 1 0 so what your x minus 1 and attach here so 1 is equal to 0 b minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 and here also 0 so it get your value minus 2 means b is equal to half same is now third data if x minus 1 equal to 0, so students x is equal to 1, attach here in this bull equations, here 0, that also 0 and here c 1 with 1 plus 1, there is a big equation students, utilizations to x equal to 1, so here 1 is equal to c with 2, yes c become half, now all values we can conduct in this equations, so Integration of a 1 dy with a, b, c dx, if your data is cover x, x plus 1, x minus 1 and you can only apply a, b, c value. So, does a how much? Minus 1, b how much? Half and uh, C is how much? Half dx and here 1 dy same is. Now all formula we know that it is integrations. So here answer is y. This side minus log modulus x. Here half log modulus x plus 1 and here also half log modulus x minus 1 plus c. So, does you can take LCM to best way and half and half also common either either take overall half common. So, it is I taking overall here half common minus 2 log modulus x log modulus x plus 1 log modulus x minus 1 plus c. Now, all log you combine together plus plus in product and minus in take divide. So, y is equal to half log x plus 1 x minus 1 by x square plus c. So, overall your data is half log x square minus 1 by x square plus c. Here students, here first of all one of the our general solution is over here. So now students here our one of the general solution now I take to particular question is there if x2 then y0 if x2 then y0 you put down there so 0 is equal to half log 2 square minus 1 by 2 square so how much c c is your minus half log yes 4 minus 1 3 by 4 and this value you put it here and derive your particular solutions therefore our particular solutions is that y is equal to half log x square minus 1 by x square and c is a minus half log 3 by 4 and that much students your final answer in this big questions 12. Students here up to 12 our this part is now students I stop there and further explanations I explain you in the next part. Bye bye.